Today on Beer Scientist, we'll be doing a Bavarian Hefeweizen. Let's start with our ingredients. We are doing a mini mash. We have one and a quarter pounds of German Pilsner, one and a quarter pounds of red wheat, and a half pound of Carapils. We'll be using five pounds of wheat extract, three quarter ounces of spalt hops for bittering, quarter ounce of spalt hops for aroma. We'll be using the White Labs Hefeweizen Ale 300. And to make sure that our ferment starts nice and strong, we will be using a capsule of yeast fuel. Now we've gone ahead and put two and a half gallons of purified water in this stock pot and brought up to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to go ahead and take our grains, put them in a coarse grain bag, and soak the grains in this stock pot for 45 minutes, getting all of those sugars from the grains. Now make sure you've turned off your burner. Just let it sit there. That's it. We're going to let it sit there for 45 minutes and then we'll come back and work on it some more. Okay, so it's been 45 minutes. We can go ahead and pull this grain bag out of our batch. And actually what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to dunk it a few times, make sure we get any of those leftover sugars. We're also going to pour some hot mash water over this grain bag to make sure we get everything out of it possible. So we're going to go ahead and take it. We're going to use this strainer. I'm just going to set on top. We're just going to pour one quart for every two pounds of grain. We'll go ahead and throw the grains out and bring the batch up to a boil so we can add in our malt extract. Okay, so we've gone ahead and brought of a bison up to a boil. We're going to go ahead and take it off and then add in the malt extract to put in the rest of the sugars that we need for this batch. Okay, so here you can see the malt extract. It's a very syrupy kind of caramel color. So we can just pour it all in. Okay, great. So now you can see empty container. All right. So it's all stirred up and dissolved. We'll go ahead and put it back on to the burner. Bring this up to a boil, but as we do, we'll be stirring it every few minutes to make sure that the sugar doesn't burn. So we're starting to see some signs of boil, so we want to make sure that we stir it really well when it starts to boil, and we watch it really well, because as soon as it starts to boil, as soon as it breaks that boiling point, it will start foaming rapidly. Okay, so now we're at a boil. It's just started to be a boil. We're gonna turn down the temperature, when it gets steady, we'll add in our bittering hops. All right, so here we go. We have half ounce of spalt hops. We're gonna add them in as bittering hops, put them all in. Now, those are hop pellets, so we won't have to actually filter anything out when we get done with this. Okay, there we go. We have our bittering hops in. We'll let it sit there for 55 minutes, and then we'll add in our aroma hops. Every seven to 10 minutes, we'll be coming back and stirring it because we still have all that sugar in there that we don't want to burn. So we'll go ahead and keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't overboil, make sure it doesn't burn. Okay, so we've gone ahead and boiled our Hefeweizen for 55 minutes. So now we have five minutes left. We're gonna add in our aroma hops and then let our aroma hops boil for the last five minutes. We use three quarters of an ounce of spout hops for bittering hops and we're gonna use the last quarter ounce for the aroma hops. So we're gonna add these in. There we go. Let that boil for five more minutes. So our last five minutes are up. Our batch is fully done. We're gonna go ahead and take it off the burner, put it into the sink. So here you can see we've submerged our war chiller. We're running cold water through the war chiller to bring the batch down from 212 degrees from boiling all the way down to 80 degrees. Now this will take about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so we've gone ahead, cooled this Hefeweizen batch down to 80 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and take the war chiller out, take the thermometer out, and move this batch into our primary fermenter. So here we have our primary fermenter. It's a six and a half gallon glass carboy. 
we're going to go ahead and pour our Hefeweizen into the glass carboy and then we'll add enough purified water to bring it up to five and a quarter gallons. We've marked off exactly five and a quarter gallons right there. That's the mark we're looking for. So we'll go ahead and pour it in. I'd say about uh, 1.75 gallons. We'll add in enough purified water to bring that all the way up to five and a half gallons. Here we have our Hefeweizen ale yeast. We'll go ahead and take this. Now be careful. So if you shake this up, it will explode. We're going to go ahead and pour it in. And we'll use just a little bit of water to rinse the rest down. What we need to do now is we need to take an initial gravity so we can calculate the alcohol by volume when this batch is all done. We have our thief and we have our hydrometer. So we'll go ahead and grab or steal a sample from our batch. Add in the hydrometer. So our initial gravity is 1.050. Return the sample. So all we need to do now is aerate our batch. So we're going to take this carboy and shake it. We're going to shake it really hard. We're going to get as much air into this ward as possible, into this batch as possible, to make sure that the yeast has enough air to ferment. We've shaken up the batch. We've put as much air in as we can. Hold rubber stopper. We'll put in and a three-piece airlock. A three-piece airlock, a third filled with water. We put the topper on, put the lid on, screw it in tight to our hold stopper. Now one last thing we want to do before we finish this batch off, we want to put in a vial of yeast fuel. We can shake that up, but it's fine like that as well. Yeast fuel will just help the yeast start fermenting quicker. So we've placed our carboy with Hefeweizen into the closet. It's a dry, dark place and it will ferment there for the first week of fermentation before we even touch it. So it'll stay there for a week and we'll let it ferment. So this has been the first stage. This has been the batch creation of our Bavarian Hefeweizen.